Hello everybody and welcome back. We're here still inside the old church ruins at Green Gates. We picked up a new companion. Uh, Arushale will now uh, have the opportunity to travel with us and I, I do want to try her out. But we have multiple people in our party that have the death's door. So the first thing we need to do is exit out of here and uh, get back. We really, really, really need to uh, sleep and get rid of this death's door. All right. Oh. Velg, a Kelid in a well-worn travel robe with a deep hood offers you a respectful bow. His voice is quiet and emotionless. Greetings, Commander. To be granted an audience with a figure of such importance is a great honor. Your victories have impressed and inspired me, which is why I wish to do my part in the Crusaders' struggle. So, who are you exactly? My name is Velg and I am a Kelid. My lineage dates back to the Sarkorian clans, and bonds of kinship have always been sacred to my family. When the world wound opened, my ancestors fled Sarkoras, but they did not forget their homeland. Even before the Crusades began, my great-great-grandfather marched in defense of our people. He perished as they all did. My great-grandfather and his eldest sons joined the First Crusade. My grandfather joined the Second. Our family's warriors have fought in every Crusade, and that is why our bloodline is now extinct. They say this Crusade will be the last, and so I have come alone, for there is no one else. Alas, I am no warrior, but I still wish to be of use to you. Well... How do you plan on helping me? For 23 years, I have been gathering documents on Socorus. They contain numerous mentions of the history of the Blackwater clan. The clan was beset by demons as its members had dedicated themselves to creating a powerful weapon against the world wound. The clan needed more time, but no support came from their neighbors, and so the Blackwaters were destroyed. But the fate of the clan is not important right now. What is important is that thanks to certain ancient maps, I have been able to pinpoint the location of their settlement. If you go there, you'll be able to verify my findings. And if you happen to find a weapon that will help you fight the demons, it'll bring me satisfaction and pride. What kind of weapon was this Blackwater clan working on? My thoughts on this matter are pure speculation, of course. The Blackwater clan operated in secrecy, you see, to protect their work. Unfortunately, an ever-present concern. And to avoid drawing the demon's attention before time was right. Well, thank you so much. It pleases me to be of use. Awesome, so now we have a new quest to go to Blackwater. Darren, we have a serious issue. Um, hmm. The air is filled with a spicy, heady fragrance, and steam gently rises from the bathtub. Darren is perched on the lip of the tub, holding on with both hands for balance while lazily swinging one leg. His face is a picture of innocence. Oh, my dear commander, you are just in time. I took the liberty of looking after your well-being and have prepared everything you need for a relaxing bath. Bathing for pleasure is most therapeutic indeed and essential for healing rest and sound sleep. I want to thank you. Uh, it is very thoughtful. 
Oh, <laughs> you believe I'm being thoughtful, do you? I'm merely dropping a hint. Oh, Lord. I thought I made myself kind of clear when we were back at the uh, his home, but apparently not. So, <laughs> Commander, how's the crusade doing? Uh, well, we're doing all right. What brings you to me? Oh, just a trifling thing. I wish to make a donation. It seemed a smart decision to me because what's good for the crusade is now uh, tightly intertwined with what's good for yours truly. Okay, so you're thinking of yourself first, really. Well, I did have to give the revenue from my estates a good shake-up and send a few couriers scurrying about, but in the end I managed to acquire a couple of decent items. All in all, here is my donation to the crusade and its commander. You have to try them out for yourself. I offer these gifts from the bottom of my heart. So he's given me a wand of pox pustules and a wand of ray of sickening. Hmm. Okay, well, thank you. These will come in handy. <laughs> Excellent. By the way, take a closer look at my gifts. You may find something special in there. Oh, gosh. Okay. Early sunset. Otherworldly is the word that describes the stranger's face best. Everything about him indicates that he has arrived from another plane. He bows before you with grace and dignity. So... That's what you look like, Troublemaker. The whole plane of Elysium seems to be talking about you. Your power resounds through space like a bell. I hurried to the call so I could advise you and help you avoid any missteps. I will monitor your abilities, observing how they develop. You have probably discovered by now that they're somewhat chaotic and prone to spontaneous manifestation without your deliberate will. It is not surprising. Azadas and other supernatural beings are created with their powers already a part of them, yet you received yours as a gift. That gift may be inconvenient and even dangerous. I'll try to learn more about it and teach you to control it over time. Well, if this is the will of one of the gods, I'd like to be the first to discover their intentions. That said, it may well be a careless folly in that case, you will need my help. Well, all right. Thank you. <laughs> I am really glad that you're here. The pleasure is mine. I'll take up no more of your time. All right. So I guess if I want to talk to him, I can speak with him. He's right over there next to me now. Commander, I have alarming news. Sir Seer seems to be ill. He has stepped back almost completely from commanding his people. His ever-bright crusaders are a large and experienced force. Our strategy relies heavily on them. Please talk to him. Hmm. It might be time for Sir Sierre to step down and hand over the leadership to a younger, more energetic knight. He's not a young man anymore, you know. It must be a struggle to keep up with his responsibilities. I will talk to him. Thank you, Irabeth. Thank you, Commander. Okay, so we got another quest. Wow, I am feeling so overwhelmed right now. <laughs> this is crazy. A sharp-looking kitsune gives you a quick business-like bow. Commander. The matter before us is urgent, so let's not stand on ceremony. I am Lady Konami, the official attaché of Nerosian. Here are my credentials. She presents a scroll. Her Majesty has instructed me to lead your headquarters diplomatic council. Oh? Well, honestly, I was surprised when Lady... Konami asked me to join the council, but I will do my best to fill the shoes of a trained diplomat. Um, yeah, strange. I got invited to the council, too. 
I'm sure foreign ambassadors will be thrilled to see my face and manners. Uh, Lady Konami, <laughs> you haven't mistaken me for some other crusader, have you? I, like my nobles, have been trained in diplomacy. Uh, who knows, I might even enjoy it. Huh. So, why do I need this council? To solve matters of politics, of course. The crusade is more than just battles and sieges. It's the largest military project in all of Avistan. Okay. The diplomatic council will manage this tangle of political interests. Well, I can see how that might be useful. So you've been sent to keep an eye on me. Well, <laughs> whatever gave you that idea? I'm not an overseer. Yes, but you were appointed. All right, we still have not had a chance to rest and even look at Arushale or any of that. So we're going to go ahead and come over here into my room. And I ordered my guards to remove the bathtub. So that's been handled. And let's take a look at Arushale. We don't even know what she is. She is an espionage expert. So, uh, yeah, that's okay. Not quite sure what that's about. Let's take a look. She is high in perception and stealth. Well, stealth isn't something we'll probably use. Perception will probably be good for us. I don't know if we've got anybody with 20 per perception. I'm surprised her persuasion isn't higher. Of course, her charisma is through the roof. All right, we do have to level her up with her mythic. Um, so she is using a bow. I don't even know what kind of bow she's using, but we're gonna give her cleaving shot because I think that, that that would be good for her. She gets another mythic level. Okay, she gets a feat. Well, we're gonna go with deadly aim because, yeah. Okay, and she gets another one. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, we're gonna get that also, ranging shots. Okay, so she's done now. All right, let's rest. All right, now, what we're gonna do is exit here, and uh, we have some other things to take care of in town. Let's see if it's nighttime, because we need to talk to Socile. He's supposed to be near the graveyard, and we need to talk to him about his gambling issue. Okay, I'm thinking he's not going to want to talk to me about it right now. Uh, let's see if I get the option to talk to him. Good afternoon, Commander. How can I help you? Oh, I needed to talk to you about something. Don't take offense, dear, but I've heard that you've been rather busy playing cards at night. Cards? Me? Who could possibly think... I've only visited the games once or twice to get a sense of what our soldiers do when they're off duty. You think I'm addicted to gambling? Oh, nothing of the sort. Don't worry, I'm absolutely fine. Hmm. All right, thank you. I don't believe him. We're going to have to catch him at the graveyard at night, I think. This is what we need to do right here. We need to try to get to the Molten Scar. I, I really think that that is going to be uh, what we need to do. So let's try to make our way. All right, you're going out, buddy. And you are coming in. So many good people here. It's like if I could start a second group, that'd be great. 
mean, we got a healer, we got a tank, we got DPS, and we got casters. Here I've got a healer, a tank, an off tank, two ranged, and a spell caster. So I think that's pretty good. So let's do this. Okay, let's go back here. Oh, but it's not letting me do it. Okay. Hopefully this is gonna take us where we need to go. Going in the right direction anyway. Okay. Three giants. course we're surrounded. I hate when they do that. What the heck? Alright, Avo, you come over here. Ah, uh, Lon, you do your buff. Camilla, you come and hit this dude. Sila, you guys focus on this one. Alright, so Seal, we're going to do a prayer. Okay, buddy, you help Avery. Alright. Now, I'll try magic missile on this guy. Nice. Wish I could zoom out. Oh, okay, good. He's coming up. All right, Evu. Um. See, that magic missile did pretty good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right now, we gotta figure out how to get out of here down this way. And Lon can level up. Sweet. Now, do we wanna level up his archer? I guess so. Or his bard. His bard can't do any spells just yet, so we're gonna leave bard alone. Let's do another level of archer for right now. And uh, he's our mobility dude and our nature and uh, perception. He gets another key power. I don't use these very often. So 
I guess we'll just take restoration. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's see. Uh-oh. Maybe. Oh my god. Someone's on the road. Okay. Who's on the road? I don't see anybody. Oh, there's like a campsite. Ancient ghost. Okay. Hello. You're surrounded by a lonely, empty landscape. In front of you, a solitary figure stares into the fire. The flames illuminate his ghostly form, but his features are concealed beneath a mask. You hear the muffled wail of the wind in the distance, like a child crying for its mother. Well, would you look at that. An adventurer has arrived. You are searching for an ancient knowledge, but the path to the heart of mystery can only be revealed to the one most worthy. However, all it takes are a few small steps to set you on this path of discovery. So put yourself to the test. Answer my questions with the knowledge you possess and prove that you're worthy of possessing greater knowledge. What is this heart of mystery? It's a hidden sanctuary of knowledge where the secrets of creation will be revealed to the one most worthy. The secret knowledge must be earned. Will you walk this path to the end? Will you become the first among many? All right, what question do you want to ask me? This is a test. Anyone who wishes to learn the secrets must first prove their thirst for knowledge my duty. That's why I am here. All right, ask me a question. The first question is not intended to be difficult. Tell me, to which tree does this leaf belong? This is an easy question for an elf to answer. This is the leaf of a Lipinia tree. These trees were found in Sovereign, the native homeworld of the elves. All it takes is a little knowledge to begin your journey. By answering this question correctly, you have taken the next step toward acquiring great knowledge. The heart of mystery is now open to you. Solve its riddle and you can continue forward. Oh, we got another location. And we got some items. Scrolls. Oh my goodness. Listen to me, adventurer. I'm a dead man, forced to keep an eternal watch. I am a spirit, bound by a spell. Magic forces me to say all this nonsense about knowledge and rewards, and it also prevents me from telling you who condemned me to this fate, or what happens within the Heart of Mystery. However, there are other things I can tell you. You'll have to hurry, though. I only have time to answer one question. Is there anything I can do to help you or? Yeah, is there anything I can do to help you? I will remain to the heart of mystery until someone solves its secret. When that happens, I will be given my freedom and then I can rest in peace. But so far, no one's been able to accomplish this. Oh, okay, so we need to help this guy. Interesting. Alrighty, well, we got some XP anyway, which is good.
Now, where is this place? This heart of mystery. There. Yeah, I, I think we're out of our league coming all the way down here. But we made it to the Molten Scar, everybody. I think. Uh-oh. No, we haven't. We can't get there from here. Maybe we're going to have to go up this way first and come around. And we are fatigued again, so we're going to rest. Okay, we're going to quick save. We're going to go up this way. Because that's not, that's not going to get us where we need to go. Damn it! <laughs> we're right there! So let's head this way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah! Got to fight. Yeah! A poisoner? Took down my constitution, dude? Not cool. Energy doesn't make resist poison, does it? No. Oh god, he's too close to me. I'm gonna try to make him laugh. I saw down there. Nope. That's unfortunate. Oh! Oh god, so Seal's paralyzed, he can't heal. All right, Alon, we need to, we need to make quick work of these guys. Okay. Buddy, you work on him. Down. Alrighty, Lon, get her. Camellia. Okay. Done deal.
Alright, now we get out of this place. No idea. Here we go. Now this might just take us right back around. Nope, it's giving us an option. Oh! <gasps> We're there. All right, everybody, we are here at the Molten Scar. We are going to leave the episode here. Boy, that was a roundabout way, but we found it. And next episode, we're going to go in there, and uh, yeah, that's going to be exciting. Please subscribe and give a like if you enjoyed the video, and hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye now.